For me, pure color is very important. And I'm very willing to put eight strong colors together. They are electric, that's what I like. I want people to be involved with my paintings. And that's why I do paintings that move, that you can change yourself, so that you can see how wonderful it is to make a painting. I don't like things to be static. You get this electric stuff going. Your eye is moving the color. Blue is a difficult color. It just never does what I wanted to do, particularly with the icebergs. The iceberg paintings really came from a trip my husband and I took to Antarctica. And I took easily 200 photographs. And they all look alike. <laughs> because when you look at an iceberg, you're looking at a shape. And the shapes are miraculous. They're so elusive. It's a cyclical thing. One moment they're an iceberg, and the next moment they're a waterfall. They're just, they're just gone. The Kasoda Hagami is about time. It's a circle within a square, which you look at as a diamond, and that circle is divided in four. It makes the whole thing move, and that's what I like about this particular set, is that even while it's static, it's moving. Images stay with you forever. Sometimes we can pack them up, put them away for a while, but they're always there. I can see now the Japanese influence in the Iceland woodcuts. I mostly travel just to have things to paint. So when I heard about Iceland, and I believe at that time, there was some talk about there going to be an eruption. So we went right out there. <laughs> and the uh, ground is all volcanic. There is no earth there. I did two little woodcuts, and one of them is the ash has fallen, but nothing has grown yet. And the other one, where it's green and there's water, and it's all very beautiful, and you can see the possibilities of living there. I decided to do a very large woodcut. And the steam is coming up, and the lava is running, and there's snow, and there's a gorgeous blue sky. <laughs> For once, I got the sky the way I wanted it to be, <laughs> the wonderful blue that it actually is. Yes, I am restless. <laughs> I don't want people to stand there and say, ah, that Renoir is so beautiful. I want them to question themselves, and if I'm there, to question me. I didn't sit down and say, oh yes, I'm going to be an artist. Frankly, I had no idea of even the word artist and what it meant. It was attached to doing this thing. So 
so I just keep struggling with it and um, keep trying, always experimenting. And maybe someday I'll get it right. Thank <laughs> you.